guys. I am here in Lakeland, Florida. Our video is going to be at La Casa de Eduardo. My son, my firstborn. I'm very proud of him. We are here in Lakeland and um, we are going to cook some filet mignon and some potatoes and a uh, cake. I think it's a apple upside down cake. So it's gonna be something new. And um, so here I am, I'm gonna walk up to his house and y'all can check it out. And here we are in Lakeland. I'm so glad he decided to do this with me because um, I need a little bit of help because I wanted to share with you guys uh, some filet mignon. Hello. Hi, my son. I introduce y'all to my son, Eddie, and his friend, Anna. And we are here at La Casa de Eduardo. Let me turn this over. So um, we are going to get started in cooking some yummy filet mignon, but right now we're gonna prepare the potatoes and they're gonna go in the oven. So I'm gonna let my son tell you a little bit about it. Let's go in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> here we go. So we are going to make um, some yummy potatoes. They, um, I'm gonna let him tell you about it, but then we're gonna take a minute. Actually, wait, we're gonna take a minute. Um, so I'm gonna ask him what his favorite Bible scripture, because this is how we started every time. So son, what is your favorite Bible scripture? Uh, not Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an That's amateur. <laughs> Is it okay? glare on that too. We have to take a pause for a second here. I can't. Yes, you can. I can kind of, I can oh. splice it. Oh. Uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's been a staple for my military career, along with my professional career, and even family and, and everything that we do. Praise God. Praise God. So there you go. Philippians 4.13. 413. Um, so before we get started, like we always do, we're going to pray real quick, um, and then we're going to get into this yummy cooking. So. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity that we get to come together, Lord, and share a little bit of word and also share with my son um, his wonderful cooking with his mother and with all of y'all. And Lord, I pray that you would um, help us, guide us, lead us into what you would want us to say, what you would want us to share. And Lord, we just lift up every person right now that's listening. And um, we pray that you will bless them and they will be blessed with this time together with us, Lord. And we just thank you, Father, for all the opportunities we get to do and have to share with your people. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. So today we're doing roasted potatoes with um, uh, bell peppers, onions, and jalapeno. And then from that, we're also going to do a filet mignon and uh, bourbon salmon. So... Yum! Oh, yes! Yay, yay, yay! So, he's going to cut up these potatoes, and um, then we're going to put them in this Princess House cast iron. I'm telling y'all about this Princess House, because you know why. Because um, I saw Princess House, so in case y'all just wanted to know about it, here it is, and it's awesome. Um, so, we are going to get her going, and I'll be back with y'all in just a minute. you guys what he put in here and kind of talk you through this so when you decide to make these yummy baked potatoes this is what you did all right these are more uh, roasted potato veggie blend we got uh red potatoes um green and red bell peppers onions and olive oil season it all together and with these three basic ingredients, which I use on everything. I'm not a big fan of salt. And um, get it all nice and coated. And then it goes into a cast iron skillet with olive oil. I use olive oil in every dish I make. And um, I do this often with, with the guys and everybody will come over. So right now I'm just mixing it all together. We're gonna put it in and then we're gonna cook it at four, four, 400, four or five, about 30 to 45 minutes. And Top it off with cheese. Good to 
could go. Yummy licious. Let me show everybody. Uh, uh, see it. Oh, that's heavy. It's a princess house and it's really, really nice and heavy. So you can see. So we're going to roast them in the oven and then he's going to put some cheese on top. It's going to be so yummy. All right. So we're going to take it and put it in the oven and then we're going to start our next process. Um, you want to pop that um, for me? All right. So just like that. Magic. Boom. Yeah. Magic happens in 40 minutes. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Right, so today, um, for our dessert, I am going to make a apple upside down cake. So the first thing I did was I melted a stick of butter and I put it in my 9 by 13 pan. Then I sprinkled about almost a cup of brown sugar and I also toasted some pecans, yummy. And right now I'm cutting the, the apples because I am going to lay them in the pan. But first I'm gonna sprinkle, and I got this recipe um, on Facebook. <laughs> and it's gonna be fun, and it's gonna be yummy. And we'll let you know how it, how it turns out after our little dinner tonight with the, uh, at La Casa de Eduardo with our filet mignon. It's gonna be yummy. Yes, sir. And so um, what you're going to do is you're going to prepare um, a spice cake mix. Oops, sorry, guys. <laughs> what did I do with it? Oop, there it is. So you're going to make um, the spice cake mix. And um, after you make it, you're going to pour it into the pan. I'm going to layer some of these apples in here, guys, just like this. <laughs> it's going to be yummy. I know it. Um, this is just like a pineapple upside down cake. But this is done with apples. Oops, I left this one a little too fat. <laughs> Somebody would have liked that. And these are Granny Smith apples, and you only use three, three apples um, to fill this up. And then you make the cake mix, you pour it on top. It's a spice cake mix or um, carrot cake. You can use either one of those, and you just do it like, um, just prepare it the way you normally would. And then you have used some apple upside down cake. So we're gonna show you the end result and tell you all about it whenever we get done. Here we right, are, we've got the potatoes, they're cooking, they're about finished. And he is going to put some cheese in it and they are going to be yummy. I cannot wait. Oh, the- That's our skillet and the olive oil. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. He's gonna put some cheese on it. I'm about two more minutes and the cheese is all right. Yep. So we can go to the other. Um, we're going to do the grill part of our cake mix. We are with Eddie and his grill. So today we are doing filet mignons that are cut by my butcher at Publix. Um, they're a two inch cut, uh, premium. To do it, get them done, ready. We've got our fire, which is very high heat right now to do the searing. It's uh, apple wood, oak, and charcoal mix and blend. And we are going to sear these up real nice. And go from there. You can see that. Put the grill marks on there. Looks real good. And the marinade on it is a uh, Dale's low sodium, olive oil, garlic, and onion and, and uh, uh, black pepper powder. So. All I know is that they are delicious. You don't even need A1 sauce with these. They are so good. Those little potatoes with the cheese on them. Mm, I am so excited about this, y'all. This is going to be our supper tonight. Yay! Good deal. I saw them playing with that. Oh my gosh, look at these sticks, how yummy they've already got. Oh my gosh, y'all, you gotta see the sear on these. Amazing, look at that. Wow, that looks so yummy. So um, what I would like to share with you is that my son has a um, business, Got Your Six. I want him to kind of tell you a little bit about it. Well, got 
Fire 6 was established to help our community and what we've been able to do is give back to veterans, first responders, and law enforcement um, by getting them out on the water. And most recently we're actually going to start incorporating buggy rides, fly fishing, branching out to Colorado to some friends out there to help with some fly fishing. Um, and we've been really blessed with the opportunity just to give. And, and that's really our mission and that's our, what we're trying to do is help those that have uh, given so much to us and been able to keep our freedoms and uh, have fun by doing outdoor things. Yeah, that is so cool. So he's taking them out on his boat and they're just getting out into nature and having some really great experiences and uh, getting out of the norm. And I'm so excited for him for that. My hubby is here. Say hello, baby. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm waiting on the stage. So we are super excited. And he's going to grill up some, are you grilling some salmon too? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. All right, so we've got some marinated bourbon, marinated salmon. <laughs> salmon and bourbon. That's all we got. So we got the sear on the grill. Just like we do the steaks, we'll sear them, get the, the lines on there, and then set them off to the side so they do not dry out and get a lot of flavor. So. Wow, yummy. That looks good. Wow. Y'all, we're going to eat like kings and queens tonight. I am super excited. I'm so glad that we got to share this time with you. Um, we also have... You get to share uh, time with you. Yes, I am so glad. My son is super busy all the time. So this is a treat for us to come up and uh, let him cook for us. And um, so we are going to um, wrap it up. And um, we're just going to pray real quick with you and finish up our, our, uh, our cooking with you. So, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this awesome day, Lord. Father, we right now want to lift up all of your essential workers, Lord. All the people that are in the hospitals, our policemen. Father, we want to lift up every essential worker that is out there right now, Lord. Doing all that they can do to help us and protect us and keep us safe, Lord, and we pray that you would keep them safe, that you would put your guardian angels around them and keep them safe, Father. I pray that you would um, lift them up and in their families, Lord, and we just pray that the people that are watching right now, that you would bless them. Whatever needs they have, Lord, God, I ask you to meet their every need right where they are, and Lord, that you would keep and guide and protect them and their families, Father. And we just thank you for the opportunity to get to come and share a little bit of love with them, with each and every person, Lord. And we just pray that you'll bless them, guide them, and lead them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Thank yep. you, guys. Until we get to see you again, talk to you later.